All right, guys, welcome or welcome back to this video. So this is going to be the last video of this series that is a CRUD application. In our previous videos, we have inserted, read, and updated the data from our database. So in this video, we are going to see how we delete the data from our database using our front end panel. So let's see how it's done. So straight into our code editor, we have all the data over here. So let me go to app.js. And over here, we will be creating a get route where we get the data and we render it. So we will do app dot get. So we need to get the data so that we can delete it. So over here we will create a route called delete. All the delete action will be done over this route itself. So let me pass a function with two parameters that is request and response. And Let's establish a connection directly over here. So let's do con dot connect. Right. So in con dot connect, we will pass another function. So this function will check for any errors. So we will pass error. And if at all we have any error, we will console log it. So if error console dot log the error. And over here we can pass our SQL. So that SQL is equal to now we have to delete the data. So the query again changes over here. So it's delete from our table name, which is test. And we have to specify the ID, which is a unique parameter. You can always delete data from the database using a unique parameter. So ID is a unique parameter in our database table. So we will be using that same. So we do where. ID is equal to question mark. So we will get this ID from our front end. So let me get the ID over here. Close this and we will do var ID is equal to request and we will get the ID from our query. So we will do request dot query dot ID. Close this as well. And now we have to pass the query. So we will do con dot query. So first we will have to pass our SQL statement along with the inner value. So the value for ID will be taken from ID. So we'll do ID and then a function. So we will do function and this function will have two parameters that is error and result. So we have, if at all we have any error, so we do if error this is a crucial step because if at all we have any errors and we don't know what error it is it will be a very hectic process to solve so it is better we console log it console dot log the error all right if at all there is no error we can redirect so res dot redirect to our home route so let me save this code and we have to make some changes to our display.ejs so that we can display the URL. So let me add another table heading over here. So make it th and delete. And let me copy the same table heading over here. Control C. Come over here, Control V. We have to change the route. So make it delete. Let me confirm it once. D L E T E S. All right. And we just have to pass the ID and change the name over here. So to delete. Let me save this. Open our browser. Okay, let me close these additional tabs. Let's have one tab open so that it's easy to identify. And let's refresh this. So we have delete ready over here. Let me delete the entry for Astro. So delete. All right. So the entry for Astro is deleted. And we can see that we have one, three, four, five, six, seven. And the entry for Astro is deleted. Let me delete another entry. So let me delete the entry for Timothy and delete. All right, we can see that the data has been deleted. Let me check it in a MySQL database. So over here, we can see that we have Astro and Timothy. This is before refreshing the page. So let me refresh this page. You can see that Timothy and Astro both have been deleted. That's a really simple step. And that's how we delete data from our database. So that's all for this CRUD application. You can check out our previous videos. 
this is a complete CRUD application and stay tuned for our further videos where we build more Node.js projects and I give you tips and tricks on Node.js projects. So I've observed that most of y'all haven't subscribed to our videos. So do subscribe so that you don't miss any of our updates and you'll stay tuned for the rest of the process. That's all. Thank you.